All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. And there's going to be a little bit of uh, clueless eating involved in this as well. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologise for whatever has happened to my hair. This is what happens when you don't actually make any effort with it and it just looks fucking stupid. I look like a peacock here. Uh, well, I look like a cock anyway, let's be honest. So today we're venturing over to Brewdog again. First time in a long time, actually. And um, yeah, and this is one that I've not had before. And this is the Duopolis, which is a oat cream double dry hop IPA, clocking in at 4.7% ABV, hopped up modernist milkshake. Now, this was um, part of a beer nuts box that I was gifted by my dad uh, for Christmas. I say for Christmas. Uh, the original box that he had ordered just didn't show up, got lost in transit. Uh, so they sent out a replacement, which he received recently. And uh, the box that he had ordered was sort of like a mixed um, brewery sort of box. Uh, and they just ended up sending him a brew dog box for a replacement. Um, not a bad selection there. Uh, it was nice to revisit Dead Pony Club, which was tasting better than I remember it being. Uh, what else was in there? There was Elvis Juice, which tasted not as good as I remember it tasting, which is a travesty because I love grapefruit IPAs. It was still nice, don't get me wrong, but um, I don't know, just didn't have the magic that it usually has. And uh, there was like obviously a can of punk in there. Um, what else was there? There was like Hazy OG, or, or, I can't remember which one it was. Um, then Lost Lager, which is a solid lager in my opinion. And there was something else in there. And I can't remember what it was. But it was the bad little box. And of course you get uh, three little tins of the beer nuts. Classic flavour. So we'll be uh, doing a little bit of a pairing at the end. And you also got a Brewdog glass. So I've got two of those. So they're good for sort of like head-to-heads or when we're actually able to have people round or to have gatherings. So, you know, nice little sample slash bottle share reviews. And also you get a few coasters, beer mats. Oh, excuse me, acid reflux. A cool design, actually. I like the branded of beer nuts. And I've seen these around loads with some of their packs. I know they do like a tiny rabble one. I've seen the siren one that they've done, and uh, I think they do sort of like different themes. But yes, the the one that should have come was a mixed selection. Um, so yeah, it's always good. So I'm not one of those people who's going to be like, oh, it's just brew dog, disappointed. Beer's beer at the end of the day. Anyway, and it as said, it's a good good excuse to uh, try something that I've not had before from these guys. So let's get this opened and see what we get. Apologies about the uh, light behind me. Uh, where I've started to do my reviews now on the floor, uh, which I have somewhat decent lighting. It's just a mess, so couldn't be bothered tidying up just for the sake of a review. And I tell you what, that's pouring really, really hazy. Look at that. Sort of like, um, it's got like, yeah, there's lemon, honey and lemon lockets. That colour always reminds me of that. But yeah, it looks nice and dense, actually, especially for its ABV. It's got a nice vibrancy to it as well, with just about, say, half a finger's worth of white head on there. So we'll give it a little bit of a swirl and a sniff. I'm getting... Almost like a menthol aroma. A little bit of lemon coming through. Nice breadiness there from the malts. It's got a little bit of like a crispy, biscuity sort of aroma as well. I mean, it's not, you know, the most aromatic uh, beer that you're going to sniff, but it smells nice when you get a good whiff of it. Anyway, let's see what this tastes like. Cheers, folks.
I know, big shout out to my dad. <laughs> Tell you what, it's honey and lemon. It's got a nice sweetness to it, but there's like a like a cool mintiness. Bits finished on the back end. For its ABV, the body's not too bad. But with it saying, you know, when they use words like oat cream and modernist milkshake, you're sort of setting yourself up to fail a little bit, aren't you? Because you're expecting like big, chewy, creamy mouthfeels. But then again, it's a session sessionable strength. So I think they've got the balance nicely in that regard. I don't, I don't fall into that category of just hating on Brewdog because the Brewdog. Um, yeah, some of the paler beers in recent years have not really hit the highs that you would expect. Their Imperial Stouts and stuff and barrel-aged beers. Uh, not that I had that many in 2020, actually. Uh, but I've, I've got a fondness for Imperial Strength beers from Brewdog. But I'll tell you what, this is not bad at all. If this is available in like those four packs, the fridge filler packs, you know, if you just want a, a few beers and not really, you know, worry about the ABV, you're not sort of like looking for different flavours. I wouldn't say it's good, quote unquote, review beer. But I tell you what, that's not bad at all, that. Doesn't, it doesn't come across as watery either, uh, which some pale beers from Brewdog that I've had do have that sort of characteristic where the flavour just dissipates. But no, it, it, it's got a nice amount of flavour to it. Yeah, I think that's a really nice little sessionable IPA. Maybe a little bit of body and it might, you know, hit the highs a bit more. So in terms of a rating then, um, heavenly, I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. i definitely have that again. That's really, really nice, simple, sessionable, just knock it back. So yeah, 7 out of 10. So that's always the case with beer reviews like this. Um, that's the review of the beer finished. So if you're not really interested in seeing Piggy over here um, having something to eat, then feel free to uh, end the video there. Um, yeah, not bad. If you see it, definitely give it a try. Don't go in there, go into it thinking you're going to get bags of flavour or anything like that. Um, but for what it is, I think it's really, really nice. It's nice and simple. So, of course, yeah, highly recommended. So Brewdog's uh, links are going to be down below, as well as their web shop and that sort of stuff. Go check them out. I'm not sure what their, um, because they've sort of changed it up, haven't they? Uh, where it's a bit more of like a localised approach when it comes to picking up beers. But I'm sure they've got the sort of general web shop up and running as well. Although last time I checked, it was just pretty much Brewdog beers that are on there. I'm not sure what their guest sort of selection is like nowadays. But links will be down below. And uh, yeah, go check them out. I mean, everyone knows who Brewdog is, let's be honest. But yeah, not a bad beer at all. So uh, for those who are sticking around, let's get these open. Oh, no, I can't because the tab, pull tabs come off. So in the box, you've got like, I think it's like three tubs um, of this flavour. I mean, it'd be nice if they, I'm not, I mean, I'm not sure if they do have other flavours available. But it would be nice to sort of diversify a little bit, but I'm not going to complain. So that's what they look like in the, uh, the packaging. And they're those sorts of like coated uh, peanuts. Nice, nice size. So uh, let's give them a taste. Mmm. Mmm. 
That's nice. Nice, satisfying crunch, even though I can't crunch like crisps, like that. Sort of like, um, it's weird. I sort of like squish them up a little bit. I don't know, it's just, I don't have like sensitive teeth or anything. I just don't like the feel of like, you know, biting down on things, unless it's a pillow. Um, but I like to suck the flavour off. Mmm. Yeah, I've got very satisfying coating. Mmm, I like those. So I'll have one more and then we'll have a taste of beer. Hey, that's not bad, that. The saltiness of these almost brings out the hop flavour a little bit more. In this beer specifically. And it doesn't do that thing where the beer just becomes bitter when you have food with beer sometimes. I'll tell you what, the saltiness of these cuts through the beer in some respects, but it also complements and brings out the citrusy flavours. It's a bit, the beer tastes a little bit more um, citrusy. Oh yeah, these are, these are really good. Although the roof of my mouth is hurting, so I have to be really careful with the way that I eat stuff like this. Mm. That is a really good combination, actually. But I think these would go well with quite a few different beers, especially hoppy ones. So, yeah, good combo, good concept. And uh, it's a good gift idea as well, isn't it, really? Especially if you're someone who's buying beer for someone who like really likes beer and you're not having to worry about you know, selecting different beers, like, oh, will they like this one? Will they like that one? Oh, I don't really know much about beer in general. It's a good sort of casual gift for beer lovers, I would say. Uh, not sure what the price point is on these boxes. Um, I know because they do pop up on, like, uh, Facebook with promotions and stuff in, like, the manner that Flavourly would. And from what I remember, for the amount of beers that you're getting and the snacks and all the little bits and bobs... It's not a bad little idea. And it'd be a good little thing to sort of like treat yourself to every now and then. Plus I get another glass, so it ticks that box as well. Yeah, all in all, a success. Beer itself, nice, modest. Uh, the nuts, lovely. And then together, they work really, really well. So highly recommended. Uh, so, yeah, go check out Beer Nuts as well. And I might, if they do this sort of stuff where you can buy the nuts individually, um, then, yeah, you might be seeing some sort of, like, beer snack specific videos, um, even though I've not done a Saturday Night Slice or Crisp Butty uh, video for months now. Because if you know me, you know, when I say, oh, I'm going to do this as a series, nine times out of ten, a few videos in, just stops doesn't it but uh, anyway yeah lovely stuff any thoughts opinions recommend what's some of your favorite snacks what your favorite beer snacks in general what's some of your favorite like very specific uh combinations or just general combinations always interested and um yeah cheers for watching you all take care stay safe and i'll see you next time cheers